The arrest of former President Juan Orlando Hernandez has left many in Honduras stunned. He was escorted away in chains after dozens of Honduran security forces surrounded his home for several hours. The country's security minister, Ramon Savillon, tells Al Jazeera there were concerns the former Honduran leader may have been planning to evade arrest. We were able to take the appropriate measures in response to information that suggested there could be some risk or danger of escape, so we made the decision. It's better to err on the side of excess measures than to fail to uphold the law. For years, Juan Orlando Hernandez has faced accusations of links to drug trafficking and that his rise to power was fueled by bribes and drug money. Officials in the United States also claim that corruption inherent within the Hernandez administration led to a deterioration of democratic institutions and a social decay that fueled a historic wave of migration from the country. Though President Hernandez spent years portraying himself as tough on drug trafficking, the same extradition legislation he helped create is now being used against him. The detention facility behind the gates of this army barracks in the Honduran capital is perhaps the last place he expected to find himself. Honduras's security minister says this arrest should serve as an example to all public servants that no one in the country is above the law. This sets an example for the entire community and above all for the international community so that the country is seen with different eyes, with transparency and equality of law. That is the other aspect, not applying the law to only a segment of the population, but to all of those who hold public office. In the Honduran capital, news of Hernandez's arrest has been met with mixed emotions. And not everyone is optimistic that the downfall of the man who only three weeks ago was president of the country will bring about an end to the country's war on drugs. This war is one of those things that never ends. It's always more, more kingpins. It's an endless war. You capture one and another takes his place. Hopefully things begin to calm down, like deaths. All of that can be reduced, God willing. Though some view the Hernandez extradition case as a stain on the office of the presidency, many in Honduras have expressed hope that the country might finally turn a page after years of being plagued by violence linked to drug trafficking. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera, Tegucigalpa.